Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm watching episode 11 of uh, Combatants Will Be Dispatched. Uh, I'm pretty sure I watched the opening last last time, but I don't even remember. Uh, so if, if this has the opening, I'll try watching a little and see if I did watch it. If I didn't, um, I'll continue watching it. Uh, so yeah, last episode, we finally got to meet Lilith, which... She's actually amazing. <laughs> I'm glad that she actually turned out to be a character that I liked because I was looking forward to her for a while. And, um, well, there's another series of steps that disappointed me when it comes to the character I was looking forward to, uh, that one being full dive. So I'm glad this one didn't disappoint. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens this episode. Well, that'd probably be a good thing. <laughs> I guess he would be kind of cool if it wasn't for the lollycon thing. Opening? Opening. <laughs> I think I did watch it. Maybe. I'll watch it anyway. <laughs> Again. Just to be sure. Man, she's great. <laughs> Have they ever used one of those before? So what was the tiger doing and who who was was who was he doing it to? That's a pretty uh, the entire planet is mostly covered in desert. I wonder how life even started here <laughs> or continues to survive. And I guess magic helps a lot. I like how she wears gla uh, like shades to, to drive this. I wanted to forget that. <laughs> You definitely were going to. <laughs> Answer her, Commander. <laughs> God, Rose is so adorable. <laughs> I 
Stop ignoring Rose. That's I. I mm. Seems she didn't mind. <laughs> and one of the things that I think was really improved in Konosuba compared to this and Kimono Michi is the fact that Kazuma actually has development and so does everyone else in his team. Not to mention they all get to know each other a lot more. <laughs> that face though. <laughs> I really like in Konosuba, the characters grow closer together over time, but it doesn't feel that way in this one. Like, there's a tiny bit, but overall, I kind of feel like he'd abandon them without a second thought, but I mean, he is supposed to be, like, evil. So do chimeras always have heterochromia? Well, that can't be true. Okay, no, that makes sense. That's not infinite, though, because there is an infinite food. Your powers have never really been anything close to amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the last useful thing she did was to magically castrate that horrible guy, turning him indecent. But at the same time, that situation didn't end up well. Oh my god, <laughs> Rose is basically Yoshi right now from Nagatoro. <laughs> Gotta freaking love Rose. I want to read the novels now, but it's mostly because of Rose now and Lilith. They're like the highlights of this series. I mean, the occasional, like, hijinks Six gets into. Almost sounds like a plan that Veneer from Konosuba would come up with. Though, the reasoning is different.
She's seriously Aqua. <laughs> Prototype Aqua. Well, Aqua actually ended up more lovable than her. Oh, wow. Definitely. It, it really does. <laughs> That's the usual thing, yeah. You don't even know what that does. That's probably just lighting. Or maybe it's like scanners or something. Maybe they're defense systems. I wonder how they made Alice. Well, Lilith, spe Lilith specifically because... Uh, <laughs> By magic? Oh, did Rose do this? Oh, never mind. Good that they can't sense presence. They are clearly better friends than anyone in, in this team. <laughs> They're having these, like, bonding moments that good characters would usually have. <laughs> and it's all building up for, you know, to six ruining everything for them. Cast a boob shrinking curse. Well, I mean, that wouldn't really be a curse, but from their perspective, it would be a curse. Of course. <laughs> well, she's easily bribed as well, but I feel like it's less scummy when Rose is bribed than when the other one is.
Is that what I think it is? A mecha? So it's probably the wish of whoever created Rose as well. <laughs> She's pretty respectable for directing her hate towards the specific one that did things to her, as opposed to hating the entire race because of something that one person did. Oh no, that's awful. <laughs> they completely and totally seem like the bad guys here. <laughs> He probably got a lot of evil points for doing that, by the way. <laughs> Not only was it a surprise attack, but it was, like, the worst kind of surprise attack. Hey, don't pin this on humans. This is all him. Uh, did he? No. He can't have killed him. He looks like he's fainted, though I don't know why that would stop his breathing. Where did you get that? D who knows? <laughs> It's better he doesn't remember what kind of attack that was. <laughs> She's aiming it right at her boob. <laughs> Those seem like the exact words, the bad guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Everyone agrees here. No, you're not. Yeah, I don't think he was that easy to control. So that's how you get in, huh? I feel Rose can do something here. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> you could you should have been sensing that a long time ago. Did he take it again? Her special crystal thing? Oh no, she still has it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I feel Rose should really take a more active role in this, but she hasn't yet. It looks like they, like, drew this scene normally, it just darkened it for some reason. Now oh, there we go, it's normal again. So does that have any actual weapons? I feel like it probably does. So is he the final boss? Last next episode is the last episode, so I guess so. I wonder where it's gonna leave off. Probably just defeating him and then like to be continued, something like that, you know. Um, uh, yeah, this is a fun episode. Uh, seeing just how consistently scummy the main character is. It is a funny gag. And the fact that the bad guys of this series are such decent people by comparison. <laughs> it's pretty enjoyable sometimes. Um, though... Like I said before, the the best part of any episode is whenever Rose says something. But that's one of my problems. I feel like there needs to be a much bigger focus on her. Though I do feel that next episode is probably going to do that a little bit. Because they wouldn't say stuff like this. About, you know, Rose feeling that this place is familiar. And also him saying that... Uh, only ones from that place can do things with the with the technology. Uh, yeah, so it's probably how it'll go next episode. Rose is going to do something. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.